<sighs> so, um, this is, uh, it's come to this, huh? Um, the video that you're going to see today is obviously not edited, no music in the background, um, no cuts. It's about as raw as I can make a video reaction to anything. Um, I didn't even set anything up for something like this. Uh, originally, I had my figures, manga set up, anything, but I just don't know. I just don't know how to feel it, and I don't know how to react or um, give my most honest, non-biased, non uh non catered to the to the mainstream opinion so i want to give you guys the most raw opinion possible about what has happened um as you guys can tell from the title uh the legendary kentaro miura passed away and this video is mostly just to show some respect to that guy that man that legend he himself uh, started drawing a uh, manga as as young as some of us barely can get a job. <laughs> and he was an already professional manga artist. Uh, for those of you that, just in case, for those of you that aren't aware of who Kentaro Miura is, he is a famous author of the Berserk series. If you have never heard of Berserk, do a little bit of research. If you want to see something interesting, look up what Berserk has influenced. What berserk inspired and you will see you will come up at when you will come across a bunch of interesting and very cool uh very cool uh games movies stories um i got into berserk when i was um, i don't want to say too young but definitely when i was at a young age uh it definitely was a huge shock factor to me i was introduced to the series through the um, old OVA animes, the, um, the old school ones, you know, ones, the the, the original anime, uh, the CGI Monster Fest that, that that was. And I absolutely fell in love with the series. It wasn't my first one. I'm not going to lie. It was not my first series. Um, but when I did find Berserk, it stuck by me. And, it, and the more I read it, the more it stuck with me as... Uh, as a pivot point of like, all right, this is a standard of the of of the high. This is how the the top, the roof, the top floor of the mangaka uh, quality level exists. Storytelling was great. The the art style is was great. Um, it's. Uh, it was an on, an ongoing, long ongoing series, and uh, it I would be lying if I s said that it didn't play a big role in my love for anime and manga and storytelling to this day. And the people who follow me on Twitch or who has spoken to me in the past to this day, I they have heard me specifically say that Berserk is my top favorite series of all time. Top storytelling, not, not anime-wise, unfortunately, because the anime hasn't reached the potential that it could have reached. But story-wise, it's my favorite story slash manga of all time. His artworks are unrivaled. Kentaro Miura's artwork, unrivaled. The only person I can think of that comes even slightly close to it, and with all due respect, respect to old mangaka, would probably be uh, Hirohiko Araki. Who's also my second favorite art uh, uh, storyteller of all time? Um, um, I mean, Kentaro Miura passing away is it's, it's just it's a huge shit, man, and I don't know how to feel about it. I I found out about it yesterday, mind you. Today is what, like the twenty first? Yeah, twenty first oh five. Um. I found out about it yesterday, uh, right as I was about to head to work. Shortly afterwards, I got some other bad news as well, told to me from a family member. So uh, it hit me a lot. I was actually waking up. I read the message on the Discord. Shout outs to the family over there, the group of beautiful people that are over there at the Discord. And 
And at first, I got the same reaction when I read that as in that um, that I got when I found out that Stan Lee passed away. Because I was at work when, when Stan Lee passed away. I remember this day vividly. Uh, this work co-worker came to me and my other friend, who, one of my best friends, Nis Santin, um, who is also a huge comic book fan. And he came to us like, yo, uh, what do you think about Stanley passing away? And do you hear about that shit? And, and my reaction and his reaction were complete denial. We were like, we are not going to believe you until this, until you show some proof. Like, and we started like researching. Well, we were on the, in the, in the middle of the service. We just pulled out our phone, started looking it up. And uh, Lord and behold, the shit was true. Which uh, led us to like having a drink on his name. And... Um, same reaction I got with Mira passing. Uh, on the one side, you're thinking like, "Wow, like what's gonna happen to Berserk? What's gonna happen to the series? The series is not hasn't ended. It's basically the nightmare that George R. R. Martin fans have with him right now when it comes to like the Game of Thrones series, the Song of Ice and Fire. Uh, like they don't want anything to happen to the author until the series finishes. But at the same time, Kintaro Miura has shown a lot of hiatuses with the chapters. And whenever he came back to them, they were still quality and they were still amazingly drawn and detailed as hell. But it's just heartwarming, at least to see the community react less about. And I've, from what I've seen, it's less about how what will happen to Berserk now and more about like, Let's show respect to this guy, this legend, this long vet, long time vet of the industry. Um, let me see if I can pull something up for you guys real quick. So, um, a while back, and I'm talking years back, I have the Instagram post as proof that this was done beforehand. And I've shown this also on my live streams as well. So this is a drawing I made based off one of his works. Oh. I try to recreate his, um, I try to recreate his, um, details, but... Looking back at the drawing, is is nothing compared to the original piece, obviously. Um, his craft was incredible. His influence was amazing. His inspiration was amazing. His storytelling was great. Um, Guts, Gatsu, whatever you want to call him, uh, is one of the my favorite, one of the best written uh, action, bulky, strong protagonists that ever existed. With all due respect to you Fire Emblem fans, you, part, of the, part of the reason why I like Ike, it has solely to do because he looks like Guts. Um, and it obviously is a, it's a hit. I cried a little bit today. Day after this happened. I couldn't cry at work, so I kept my tears together and my emotions together yesterday. Uh, I woke up today and kept thinking about the fact that Kentaro Miura passed away. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's just... Um, I went on I went on Crunchyroll earlier today and uh, just to check up on some stuff like I was trying to look at a TV anime series while I was gonna eat something as per usual, and I saw this long list this uh, this article saying um, manga artist industry and fans pay tribute to Kentaro Miura and just to see the reactions that have been uh, given to what has occurred is always heartwarming and still important for us to realize how much support how much we got each other's backs over here we have to have each other's back 
we were outcasts at some point we were like uh we were told off as uh, a lot of us or a couple of us were cons were looked down upon when we brought up the fact that we loved anime or manga or video games and to see the community had that the, that that time has changed and that more people are open to it and seeing the amount of respect and the amount of history that this that the genres have uh and it's not just all opi and ass is legit legit quality content and quality stories um it's great um you can look it up on crunchyroll.com i believe it's anime news uh, you should be able to find it manga artists industry manga artists industry and fans pay tribute to kentaro Miura. it seemed like the final fantasy uh the final fantasy online uh people playing uh playing tribute to it right now the uh Yeah, the Final Fantasy. What is it? Uh, fourteen. Like just playing their tribute to the to the Berserk series is amazing. Uh, to see freaking uh Yoshi Yoshi uh Noriono fucking playing tribute to it from fucking Street Fighter. Like, um. But I think what really got me uh teary up teary up t today the most was um. Reading Susum uh, Susum uh, Susum Hirasawa's uh, post about it. Uh, if you're not familiar with Susumu Hirasawa, um, you probably heard heard me freak out in the past whenever I spoke about him in my other Berserk videos. Uh, he is actually the composer for the Berserk movies and the Berserk series, and he's done amazing work. Uh, I believe that. I believe that uh, Kentaro Miura actually called him up to ask him to do the to work for the series. Personally, he said, "Like I, I want you. If anyone's gonna make music for my series, I want you to be the one." And um, along came the fan bases along with that that and that because he he nailed it out of the park. Susumu Hirasawa nailed it out of the fucking park with the music, and it fit it fit the style of storytelling that that berserk was so well so to see his uh reaction to the situation which i will read right now is mr mira is no longer a being that exists in this physical place while we won't be able to talk going forward your spirit will be with me through time and space in my memories and in my heart mr Miura. As always, I'm in your debt. It's a, uh, um, it's um, it's heartbreaking. It's definitely a hit. Um, Kintaro Miura, may you rest in peace. Um, God bless your soul. Your whatever it is that comes in the afterlife, whether it's reincarnation or whatever. I'm not gonna get into that right now, but. Whatever it is that that follows up from here on onwards, I can only wish you the best and the most positivity that can be. Um, sometimes they say that we get are the best people taken from us too early, and this may be the case in this situation if that is true. Um, there was potential to do a lot of things, and people joked around a lot about him and his hiatuses, but at the end of the day... Um, regardless of what was going on the impact that he has left behind uh will is un, will be will remain unforgotten and will live throughout ages because i don't see the the style of berserk being forgotten ever 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 and the uh, influences that it brought the inspiration that it brought so many people um yeah, it was, it was a hit. Um, those of you fans out there, I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Just know that um, I myself love every single one of you Berserk fans, uh, not just Berserk anime manga fans, uh, and uh, anyone who's showing respect for this uh, legend is, yeah. Um, have a wonderful day, y'all. Um, just honestly... We gotta try and keep our heads up. Um, 
and this video was mostly just to talk and represent and pay tribute and homage and respect to this um, this uh, legendary manga. Huh? So have a wonderful day. Otherwise, um, please do share your support um, through Twitter or YouTube. Like um, show the world. For those that don't know, but Cirque, show the world uh, what this series was and how much it meant to all of us. Because I'm seeing a lot of feedback nonstop, videos being dropped nonstop left and right. And it's heartwarming to see the amount of respect being dropped for this guy. And we shouldn't idolize uh, people we don't know or social media or, or just social media icons. I know that, but but and but it's more but this i think is a little bit more different i think this has more to do with showing respect for someone who probably paid a certain uh certain importance in one's life and i'd be lying if i said berserk didn't do shit for me because um i got my volumes over there i got my uh i got my just brought in Berserk figure over here. I got my miniature um, uh, miniature uh, figure of guts in the fucking berserk armor. <laughs> I'm I'm a fan and I will forever be grateful for this uh, for this guy. Rest in peace, Mira. I've draw I've dragged on long enough. Bye.